Imagine you're Kathleen Kennedy and you're sitting there with all these people, uh, you know, at this is Hyde of Feige and everybody's in there and you're like, well, we've got, we've got Mark Hamill and we're going to do this. The la He's going to be in the, you know, the last Jedi and we're going to deconstruct Luke Skywalker and make him a weak coward. So, hey, can I can I get on a, another tr a parallel track for a second? Please. I just got an alert on my Patreon, something I didn't know that's worthy of comment here. So we're going to talk about it here first, which is this is something that I think is linked to Bob Chapek's memo. We're going to go to Disney and Lucasfilm for a second because he <laughs> just announced to, that uh, this major project that Lucasfilm, that Kathleen Kennedy herself made a big deal that Lucasfilm was developing this project, uh, this best-selling young adult book series called High Republic. Yeah, well, Children yeah. of Blood and Bone uh, by by <laughs> best-selling to Ollie's maybe. Well, but, but it you know it's 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 an African story whatever you know and she was virtue signaling I care about black people whatever so that she was going to do this story really where's Finn? It's just been announced that Paramount is going to do that instead, and there's no mention whatsoever of Lucasfilm. I'm pretty Wait. sure Chapek said I don't want to do this thing. Sell it. Get this damn thing out of here. Are and, you and serious? Just got wow. announced. Paramount is doing it, and the and, <laughs> and Disney, and now Disney. There's not a single reference to Disney or Lucasfilm. They sold that project to Paramount. To, you know, Chapek said that's further proof that whatever Kathleen Kennedy's actual title may be, she clearly can't get her stuff made inside the system. That just came out. One of my patrons <laughs> just sent me that message, and while we were talking, I checked it. That's Ooh. just on deadline. So, what yeah. kind of a gut check does that have to be to Kathleen Kennedy? Hold on, I'm going to pull this up here. Let me yeah, see I'm going can... to give you the link. I'm going to give you the link. That's a gut check. That's a gut check by Gina no, Carano, amazing. practically. That's <laughs> yeah, there's a Disney, there's a deadline link that doesn't even mention Disney, and there's a Gizmodo link that points out this was a Lucasfilm project. So it's interesting that that deadline, which is a propaganda. You know, it's a trade. It's a propaganda thing. They mm -hmm. intentionally left out because they didn't want to embarrass Kathleen Kennedy. They left it out that this was the project that she made a big deal about publicly. So there's a deadline oh, yeah. link, and then I'll send you the uh, the Gizmodo link if you which actually yes, please. That. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and share this here. So this is chill. Deadline just dropped this. They dropped it earlier today, and then Indiegogo pointed out, wait a minute, this was a Lucasfilm project. Why is there no mention of Lucasfilm? That. Yeah. All right, is it? Here we go. Yeah, you guys said Children of Blood and mm -hmm. of Blood and Bone. Yeah. So, okay. And they make um, a big deal. There was a bidding war over this. Bidding war. Several bidding major war. players in the next This was already blood. sold a year and a half ago. What the hell? Uh, Paramount Pictures is fast tracking this big screen adaptation um, of Temple Hill Entertainment. Uh, Children of Blood and Bone and its sequel, Children of Virtue and Vengeance, are published by Henry Holt Books mm -hmm. for young readers. What in the hell? This and is... all the comments in Disney, on the Deadline article are like, why is Lucasfilm not doing it? They tried to hide it, but people are like, we thought Lucasfilm, and there's Wokos going, that's not fair. It should be at Lucasfilm. <laughs> it's interesting. Hmm. This is crazy. What happened to Lucasfilm having the rights? Kathleen Kennedy announced the adaptation on. Yeah, this was 2020. This was this that wasn't was even. She was still running around. I'm the queen, right? And yeah. uh, and there, I mean, this is her pet thing that she made a big. I'm a white woman that's going to save the black people thing about. And yeah, it's gone. <laughs> hey, a, a whitey's got to be the savior for the black people. That's yeah, that's how it is in Hollywood. Certainly, my well, my colleagues in Hollywood believe that. That's true. And I love this uh, development hell. A couple of theories: Kennedy may retire after Indy Five. God, I wish she'd retire before that, uh, and doesn't want to launch a new film franchise. I doubt it. That woman is she doesn't want to go anywhere. I don't believe she wants to go anywhere. I no, think no, she's she doesn't want to go anywhere. She may be compelled by forces beyond her control. But yes, I yeah. don't know how much I believe she's going to be outright fired or asked to leave but no, 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 i she, want she her gone fired. She i love the her gone man, so bad. Well, develop you know, the typical dysfunctional she development she will, just she will just vanish uh, i will like, god i wish she would i would be i would be content quietly. with her just being quietly shoved away and I, I'm of the opinion that that's what ha that is what is going on right now. Uh, I, I've been saying that for some time but after Indy 5 got delayed for a year and you don't see her anymore anywhere 
She keeps Bye. greenlighting projects that nobody asked for either, right? Like the High Republic. What was it? I got a I got a text from my friend Matt Martin again the other day, uh, talking about how they scooted that back a hundred years or something like that because of the overall failure of High Republic. I'll have to go take a look at it. Um, one hundred and fifty years. Nobody's a Star Wars fan wants High Republic. They're moving High Republic back one hundred and fifty years after they spent all this time building these characters, and now they're just dropping them to move it back one hundred. Which means years. they're going to create a whole new world. Uh, yeah, which means everything they worked on is being thrown out the window. It's I, I because it didn't sell. Well, it made zero money. It, it might have had something to do with the overwhelming guffawing laughter at the concept of Geo the Rock taking over as an. Well, <laughs> and, and you know, and one of the things in Chapek's memo that I've talked with Valiant Renegade about is that in his memo he states something very strange for Hollywood. He stated that every month the studio heads, as in Kevin Feige and. Kathleen Kennedy and these people, head of Pixar, are going to meet every month to go over their story plans. And that means they have to meet with their competitors inside the company. Like, Feige mm -hmm. has to pitch his ideas to the head of Pixar, who's actually not his buddy and is actually a rival for his money and his resources, right? So if, let's say, Kennedy was sitting in a room like that, well, our plan is to do the High Republic, and we're going to have a ship called The Vessel that's going to be navigated by a sentient rock. Uh, who would be laughed at by these other people There's, in the room? At least See, that's some really accountability, which is all yeah, anybody exactly. is asking for, is some accountability for people to have to answer to one another about the garbage that and they're the chucking out there. the rebellion thing, Mary, is that he's making them fight each other. It's old school well, Roman gladiator stuff. Well, not just, not just that, but going back to, to each other. Cam, and going back to what you said earlier, saying capitalism is the best way to do this, that means that competition is the best way to do yes. this so it's like okay kathleen kennedy here's you your ideas okay you've never had a good fucking idea in your life outside of putting some sugar in coffee get the fuck out of here kevin feige what's your idea okay you've run out of good ideas you gave us a good 10 years all yeah. right something yeah. different you're you're tapped he had look say what you want about how maybe from a narrative perspective cookie cutters some of the mcu mm -hmm. films were most of them, with a handful of exceptions, were good films. Yeah, they were entertaining at the very least. Audiences and fans, comic book fans included, came out for them. They showed out for them, and they gave them their money. But he's run out of good ideas. Now he's pulling from all new, all different Marvel, which is all the I crap like Rudy Williams run out of that good we don't. Ideas. He yeah, has, he's and it's shifted it's, his focus into bad ideas. A shift he's, his focus. I would agree with Cameron there. I don't believe he's, he's run out of good ideas. I believe he's shifted his focus in into focusing on things that aren't are in inherently bad ideas, right? Well, well, and so. Yeah, but he's, think about he's this a, new structure. Had this new structure existed 10 years ago under Iger, imagine you're Kathleen Kennedy and you're sitting there with all these people, uh, you know, at this is height of Feige and everybody's in there and you're like, well, we've got we've got Mark Hamill and we're going to do this. The la He's going to be in the, you know, the last Jedi and we're going to deconstruct Luke Skywalker and make him a weak coward. And you're sitting there, and you're not, before she's pitching it to an echo chamber inside of her buddy's right. lucky exactly. monkey's Lucasfilm. Now she's pitching it to, to the, the chairman and the other studio heads. They're like, why would you do that? You've just watched a clip from my midweek show, Wednesday Night Mayhem. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you can get notifications for when I put out future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you around.